my name is Tony and I'm from The Sup Company and today I'm going to walk you through the all new Infinity e-ticket. So here it is, the e-ticket from Infinity. And well, the e-ticket is the touring board in their huge range of paddleboards that covers off really everything from racing all the way down to their very performance orientated surf sups and surf shapes. Um, and the e-ticket for us is a board that we've been excited about having not only in stock, but also in our demo center here in Southampton in the UK for a long time. And well, the reason for that simply is touring boards one, a very, very popular and growing only in popularity as we move forward over the season. But for us here, we have to be a little bit selective. And we've actually had a space available in our demo center for this for a little while now um, because of our position. And while we have a lot of boards, around 60, 70 boards for demo all year round, we still have to be selective for hard boards and composite shapes, particularly when they're 14 foot long overall. And well, we can only really effectively pick the best that we've got to go into demo in store. And this is one of the boards that we know is one of the best touring shapes out there. And while on the face of it, it looks quite simple, it is very subtle. And the amount of design and effort and testing that's gone into this board is vast. And it is just so clear to you when you, from the first stroke when you do head out on the water that first time. But look, let's run you through from the nose down to the tail as we do in all of our paddleboard videos here at the Subco. And it's the nose very early on in this board that makes its intentions clear. And that's efficiency. And it's efficiency not just in flat water. There is a good proportion of volume in the nose of this board. And that volume only increases as it starts to work down just ahead of the main standing area here. Subtle rocker in the nose, but it's quite full with volume and that adds a lot to the sea keeping. It is relatively flat in the forward section, but that generates lift, particularly in flatter conditions, and it still handles and deals with chop overall. The overall lines and volume really, particularly in the forward nose section of this board, come from the early Infinity Blackfish, which is their ultimately their very performance orientated uh, all round board and that shape has only evolved and gone slightly down more of a touring route uh, in the e-ticket while the blackfish has continued to evolve to be one of the fastest and most efficient all-round race shapes out there today. But the e-ticket itself as you work back down uh, particularly over the deck you end up with a very clean deck nice small cargo net and then you quickly in the main standing area and it is very very generous it's over two thirds of this board is covered in deck pad you end up with a nice recess and there is a very subtle dugout to this board which aids paddle overability a lot because it reduces your central gravity overall and makes you more stable in effect as you are in the board as opposed to on it and it's worth noting the construction on this board and infinity of ones never to shy away, certainly I would say in the aesthetics and the overall design of their board, but they haven't hidden the construction of this board under heaps and heaps of paint. And well, why should you, particularly when the Carbon and Egra weave looks this good? And this board is their full Carbon and Egra construction. The rails are stunning. Uh, hopefully it comes out on camera and you'll be able to see the weave and just how it runs the entire length of this board and it's really not only visually striking but it adds a lot of strength to this board and particularly resistance and you have to bear in mind that touring boards ultimately do kind of get knocked about a little bit uh, it's not something we all look to do with a composite board but ultimately it's the rails that are going to sustain most of that wear and tear and having carbon and egg rails on a board of this type yeah do you know what it's going to pay dividends but the deck pad itself I really like it actually. It's the first time I've really paddled with this kind of out and out polka dot type finish that runs across um, and is integrated with a diamond cut. And it is, um, it's really grippy actually, much more so than I anticipated. Normally you'll find boards of this type have like a crocodile skin kind of deck pad. But this polka dot finish, yeah, I have to say it's a, it's a grower for sure. And I think in the fullness of time, it's going to be one uh, to grow on me and it's one that's going to be, become one of my firm, fast favorites.
And as you work your way back down from the main standing area here of the board, you start to find this subtle slope and it is very subtle. And when you start walking down the back of the board, underfoot, it remains hugely stable. And that is down totally to just how wide the tail is on this board. It is huge. Um, ultimately, we're gonna have to test it in some board bags to make sure it fits in some board bags. It's that wider tail, but it is huge. And that adds one thing to this board and that is stability. And that really kind of sums up, if you like, you know, stability. In the e-ticket, it is a very fast, very stable, efficient board to paddle. As you work your way down though, the volume also increases in this board. And this board at 310 liters, yeah, it's got bags of volume in it, but it's where Dave and the design team have chosen to place it in this board, which really stands, and that helps this board stand out in terms of its overall paddling characteristics. Let's take the board though and just pop it up onto its rail so we can see the underside. And on the underside of the board there, you've got, you can see this nice, flat forward section. And then it starts to basically grow into a very subtle single concave running down the center. That's adding lots of tracking, but also you're starting to get this secondary level of stability that comes into the board. That subtle um, single concave then starts to grow and grow and grow to the point that when you're down by the fin box, it's very, very concave. Uh, and you end up with this tail very sharp, clean lines, which, well, makes this board fast. Fast touring boards, performance boards, and as we see from some other manufacturers, they put their performance know-how and knowledge from their race boards into their touring shapes. Because ultimately, all we want from a touring board is a fast, efficient shape. Not that different as to what we want from a race board. So it makes sense that those characteristics transition into their touring board lineups. The rail though, we also see a transition in the rail. So we go from this very subtle rounded rail that we find pretty much for three quarters of the length of the board from the nose. And as we transition back to that deeper single concave, we see the rail change as well. And the rail starts to become very, very sharp. And you end up with this very locked in feel towards the back of the board. So as you are starting to play down there, it provides a lot of confidence underfoot. The e-ticket though from Infinity, I have to say, it is going to be very quickly become one of the favorites in our touring um, lineup here that's available at our test center. Um, for us, it's something we've been excited about for a very long time to have Infinity finally here at the sub company. It's something we've truly desired for a masses and masses of time. Uh, big fans of what they do and what they've achieved and yeah, if you are in the market for a fast, efficient, and I would say, you know, very sensibly priced touring board, then the e-ticket from Infinity has to be on your shortlist. Thanks for watching our video. If you've got any questions about what you've seen, why not give us a call in the shop or head over to thesubco.com. To stay up to date though with all of our videos, well, make sure you subscribe up here and hit the notification bell. But to see our next video, well, take a look up here.